My name is Keenan Wairobek, um, and I work with Eric Berger, who's standing over there, uh, at Stanford University, and this was our PhD project. We both took a leave of absence because we decided the most important thing was to get the platform out to other people as soon as possible. Because right now, there are too many good software people who are really interested but don't have the, the platform to play with. So we came to Willow Garage, which is a great environment to do this kind of project, to make this happen. Now, this is PR1. We're coming out with PR2 end of next year. Um, and it's a development platform for personal robotics applications. So we talk about it like the way a PC enables software developers to develop software applications. We want to make a personal robot platform for software developers to develop personal robotics applications. Our software model is open source and our hardware model is modular. So, you know, we focus on things that just work in this robot, but we want people who make better hands or better arms to just be able to put them in there. And eventually if someone solves walking, we want to put this on legs, that kind of thing. So, but in the meantime, we want people to be developing applications. Because right now everybody says, well, you got to have legs. So they put legs on the robot, but they can't actually do anything. So we don't make that sacrifice. You know, we, we just focus on what, what works you know, this can go anywhere a wheelchair can go, which is a lot of places, and it can do things. Um, and hopefully we can, you know, start pushing the envelope on what software can do. And then as applications emerge, we think people will get in the business of legs because they'll be like, oh, there's a reason to make legs now. You know, I can actually do something. So all we have it set up doing right now is it does, it's, it's a follow me mode. So if you take its hand, it'll follow you around. And this is also demonstrating one of the big things we've done with it is make it safe to be around people and safe to be around unstructured environments. So you know, places where you don't have a good model in your computer of your environment, this is okay because this can you know this can run into things and it doesn't hurt you and it, you won't hurt it. So the robot doesn't break, which is big. You know, the analogy I always use with software developers is imagine if every time you wrote buggy code, your computer broke, you know, full on broke, you had to fix it for two weeks. You know, you never get anywhere, you never be able to write code. And that's, that's how robot development is today. You know, people build their own robots, they're pretty fragile. If they write buggy code, they're fixing that robot. So we want to change that. We want people to write their code, debug their code, and then be able to develop and push forward. There's two things that excite me. One is that the applications we haven't thought of yet. You know, we, I, I have things that I'd love to see happen. You know, I want to do my laundry, dishes, keep my house tidy. You know, I'd love it to. I love to be able to, you know, leave this around, just sort of take care of things, take care of, you know, my parents when they get older, so they can live independently a little bit longer, that kind of thing. But there are other applications in the service industry, pick and pack. You know, stock managing inventory, stocking shelves, this kind of stuff, and stuff that I'm sure we've never thought of. That I think will just, you know, be really fun. And I, you know, I think. It's, and what's exciting about this technology is that there's nothing else out there like it. And we wish there was, because nothing to compete against. There's nothing to look at and say, what did they do wrong? What can we do right? So in some ways, we want to get this out and then see what we did wrong and make the next one right, and then hopefully start the industry that way.